All right, I came back here and uh, started this machine this morning just to check it out as I was going through some checkups. And I noticed this, uh, the table motor's making some horrible noises. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody can see it or not, but the, uh, that wheel that's on the table motor itself is starting to come off. Right there in the center. So uh, it's, you can see it's not aligned very well with the pulley wheel, because there I am centered up with the pulley wheel, and it is actually to the going to the left side of your screen. So we need to get that gear wheel back over on the motor properly and reset that set screw. I'm gonna go ahead and shut everything down. All right. So the first thing I do, gotta do for safety is I need to lower the table all the way down to the deck because I need to take that belt off. Before I do that, I need to get the table down so it won't drop on me. So I'm going to fire up the machine. Alright, so now it's all the way down at the bottom. I just went ahead and cut it off. I'm going to get back here on the pin setter itself. Go down and I'm going to straddle. I'm straddling the shark. I have no body weight on the shark. My feet are resting on the, what would be the impact strip uh, support that goes across the back. It's about a three inch pipe. And I'm going to lean my thighs into the side frame here. I'm going to go ahead and push towards you on this motor to take tension to make sure that this is lowered all the way and remove this belt. It is. It's, it's bottomed out. Set screw is still in it. That's a good sign. At least I don't have to go find a set screw. I believe. Let's see here. smaller than a three millimeter, so I need to go find a different set of Allen wrenches. Just had to check, make sure it's working properly. All right, uh, I've got a, another metric set of Allen wrenches here. Unfortunately, it's not labeled. I guess you're going to have to do a little work for yourself and figure out what the size of this is, but it's smaller than a 3 millimeter, I can tell you that. I'm going to back this set screw out a little. There is a key pin in here, so don't lose that key pin. Alright. So just pushed right on. I brought a dead blow hammer in case I need to move it. I was going to pry against this sidewall or something like that. I don't need it at all. I'm going to take my belt, do a quick inspection of it. It's looking rough, but it looks like I can get some more work out of it. There's no chunks missing out of it. Go ahead and put it on the little wheel. Push it back. The reason I'm doing this is I want to see if I am aligned with the pulley wheel before I reattach it. It looks fairly well to me. Okay. Now that I know I got where the position I want to be in, I'm going to remove the belt one more time. tighten it in that position where it's at right now. Enough tension to make sure that set screw is tight, but not so much tension I break my set of Allen keys here. Okay, uh, Remember, it's always best to put it on the motor first because this goes across a smaller wheel. If you try and go 
there's a bigger wheel on here. You try and put it across that, you'll stretch your spring out a little bit more than you want to. The bigger wheel is designed if you wanted to run your table faster. Run it back across. There we go, and uh, we'll start it up and we'll see if it at least sounds a lot better than it did the first time I ran it. One thing you'll notice working on these machines, your ears will tell you more than anything else because a lot of times you're going to hear something's going wrong with this system before you actually visually see it. But then sometimes uh, you can find uh, big things with your eyes as well as long as you keep your eyes open. All right, I'm going to run it in diagnostics to see how that goes. Much smoother on that belt. I'm going to try and get you to where you can see it's lined up just right. The big pulley wheel and the small motor pulley wheel are lined up perfect with each other with that belt. And that's all I was going to show you today is how to get that set back up and make sure that it's running properly.